Alright guys, today we're back with episode 2 of Doki Doki Literature Club. And yes, I got a juice box. <clears throat> to keep my voice fresh. Anyways, let's continue and hopefully this episode won't be as long as last episode because that episode was 24 minutes. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way with my mind wandered. Uh, already a mistake in like the second sentence. I'm just gonna take that off just because it's like, feels like I have like too much, it's like too loud, but it's like I can ed edit it in the thing. But yeah. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monika, of course. Will I be able to spend? I will. I, will I really be the uh, be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure our good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Yeah, I read poems. I hate poems. I have to write. Is, are you actually gonna make me write a poem? I don't want to write this. Pick words you think you think your favorite club member would like. Good, something good might happen with whoever makes this poem most. Depression. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm picking depression. Just kidding. I have crippling depression. Blah blah blah. Dark bliss. Okay, let's go with peaceful. Oh, I got twenty words. Okay. Um, unstable. This is like always a depression. Okay, let's we'll just go with love. No vacation. I, I like a good. No music. I, music's good. Music's good. Um, unending fireflies family. Okay, guys, we got. Um, I forget. The, I already forget. Okay, never mind. Sweet sugar, loud, frightening. Sugar. No, we're gonna pick awesome because you know, love, awesome. You know, marriage. No, we, we don't. Marriage. I want to get her. I want to get, like, it's either her or her. Like, I like both those girls there, so it's like, hmm. I'm, I'm, on, I'm mainly after Monica because, like, the main character seems to love Monica, but, eh. Games? Explode? Unrequented? Marriage? Determination? I'm actually going for determination. It's good. It's good. Fluffy. See this? This is good iced tea. Hi again, Colby. Oops. I don't want to. I want to put my mouse up here just because I want to skip again. Hi again, Colby. Glad to see you. Run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back. At, I'm back at the literature club. I was at. I was the last to come in, so everyone else are sorry to hang out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Colby. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Can you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, oh come on, like he deserves any slack. Sarah told me you 
you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you just plan to come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you, then you won't see the end of it. I don't, he's, he's like a nagging person. I don't like her. No, no, I don't. I don't like. I don't like Natsuki, man. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monika and manga. <laughs> manga is literature. Yes, it is. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry about it, guys. Kobe always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy, busy work with them. He helps me. Okay. okay, guys, as you already can see, I'm not good at reading to people. And why am I, why am I playing a visual novel? I don't know, I just feel like playing it. He helped me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How de how dependable. Sayori. Oh no, Sayori. That's because your room is so messy and it's distracting. Someone will set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> I'm gonna start doing voices. My voice feels a lot better today. So I'm probably gonna try to do voices. Well, you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Colby can become good friends too. Uh -huh. Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to a weird situation she put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today. You know. Wait, wait, Sayori. Uh, me? Um, no, um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never, n n never mind. This is already made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, what do I do? This, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the, the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gestures from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well... Here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a, it's a short read, so... It's a short read. So it should keep your attention. Even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know... Discuss it if you want. This is... How is this girl accidentally being... Being so cute? She even picked up out a book she thinks I like, despite not, me not being much, reading much. Holy, that was a very terrible sentence. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, oh, well, I'll put it at the beginning of the video anyway. It, it, it should be fine. Alright, anyways. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take out the book. Take the book. Phew. I'm making her sound like silent voice, but it's not that different from a regular voice, so she might sound unexpectedly masculine. <laughs> well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So Yori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense impression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is ru rummaging around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. 
I slipped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself? Like this. I guess I could always read some of the book, read some of the book Yuri gave me. Like, but I feel, but I'm, I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. Close my eyes and listening on Saturday's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna really. <clears throat> We're probably gonna seem seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone our what literature is all about. The pr- problem is that the idea of literature club sounds too dense and elite in in intellectual. Uh, I can't read that. But it's not like that, uh, that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't seem like it's not the problem at all, though. Eh? What do you mean? Okay, those two have the same voice, but I can't do any other girl voices, so... Um, I'm just gonna do more different accents on the characters, and then, yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in, come in the first place if it's literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? After they come, we can't do the, th- we can do a thing that to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Oh no, what's this? Sayori is talk- taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberate like this. And I'm sorry if I'm like look- looking at the text more than looking at the camera. Well, I gotta read, so it's, it's like... It's down there. <laughs> huh? That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Uh, uh, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! <laughs> Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right! Natsuki makes the best cupcakes! It works out perfectly! That wasn't why you suggested it. Cups. <laughs> Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Uh, Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details in this event. I found myself smiling. In the end, Sarah is still her usual self. But the, but therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike Mu, who is has trouble finding any motivation at all. Sarah so can put her mind into two things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about my things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see them out through her eyes. What? I open my eyes to find Sarah fi- face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> Sorry. Wait! Actually, I'm not so weird at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Well, it's literature, so... It's pretty close. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, ain't you? Now that, you, now that you're in the club, you're gonna have the less time for anime, you know? And that's why you stay up even later! You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. <laughs> I glanced over my shoulder to see if Monica were hurt. Yeah, I knew it. He's after Monica. Monica after Monica. It's true though. No, it's true though. Yeah, I know, I know. You always, are. you're always looking out for me, Sari. 
good juice box. I just realized I got a whole bunch of stuff to go through. And... I'm out of my juice. Okay. I think I read that line. <laughs> it's like best! That's the problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for your own self. You're still over sleeping every day, ain't you? <laughs> every day? <clears throat> Damn. This takes on my voice like a charm. That's not very convincing. How many days since the past week have you gotten up on time? That's... I'm making a loud, a loud mouth. It's because it's easier to do when he cuts a voice. If I make a loud mouth. It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. And I'm seeing a lot of exclamation points on their lines. At least give me a... At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sari. It's written all over you. Eh? Sari glances around herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Ah, frick. Look at your hair and say- wait, what? Oh yeah, I just have hair sticking out. Look at your hair and it's sticking out all- all around here. Yeah. I don't- uh. Oh, I hate- I hate trying to sound like a girl. It's terrible. I heard my fingers down the side of Sari's hair trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. It's more than just your hair. Look at your brow. It isn't straight either. And there's... And there's is there a toothpaste? And, and there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I don't see a toothpaste thing. Damn. Oh, frick, I meant to. Oh. I didn't fix anything up this episode. Oh, whatever. I'll do it next episode. I try to wipe out off the stain with my fingers. Nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about <laughs> That's just a way to call yourself an asshole. <laughs> yes, I know. I swear, my friends, calm down. If you actually get to do this, I don't. Only thing, only person I can think will actually can watch this far in the episode is the story of games. But I don't care. Hey, you meanie! I don't, I want to keep her doing your loud voice, but it's like when she's like this, I can't. And you don't even keep. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori? Why do you... Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? <laughs> That's super mean! Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I button up her bla blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, she'll change her mind. We gotta pick! We gotta pick! Can I, like, take this off? Is there, like, a way I can, like... Can I, like... Perfect! Screenshot right there! Hoping I got the screenshot. Let's now one more time. Anyways. This is so funny! What is? Well... I'm just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? Don't say that! You make me feel weird about it, stupid! Did I just say Baka? <laughs> okay. Okay. It's alright. It's alright. It's okay, though. I'm happy with it when we're like this. Ain't you? Uh... <laughs> I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this so hard? This one's so hard to close. Struggling to, to close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? 
<laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you if you ever buttoned it, you wouldn't have noticed sooner than that. It doesn't fit you anymore. Why would you keep? Why would you smile about it? It means because my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> Come read the line one more time, cause I didn't didn't even hear voice. It means my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Don't. Don't say that loud! <laughs> anyway, you must. You look much better now, so. Uh, why does it feel so strange to see Sideways Blazer button up like that? But it's so stuffy! It's not worth it at all! Sorry, hesitantly unbutt hastily unbuttoned Sir Blazer once more. Phew! So much better. Sorry, puts her arms out and twirls it around. So, if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying that, like, it's a good thing? Yeah, guys, after every club scene, I'm going to, like, stop the episode. Just because it, these take a long time. Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even, even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better and better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm gonna keep it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well anyway, just focus on trying to make Well anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. I <laughs> know it's not much anime all night, yeah. Well, actually, I don't have any anime to watch right now, so. Comments, please. Anyways. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, sorry. Oh, I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. <clears throat> okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share all the poems he wrote down? Yay! Colby, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sari still trots away to achieve her poem. Okay, well, I got the character perfectly. By the way, did you remember to write the poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never done this before. Well now that <clears throat> well now that everyone is ready, why don't we find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sorry, Monica, enthusiastically pull out the poem. Sorry is wrinkled. Oh, she she the loose paper torn from a spiral notebook. So a binder. <laughs> on the other hand, Monica wrote hers on a uh, composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Not skiing your re reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their handbags. When's this gonna end, man? I do the same myself. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, we're gonna save right here. Hmm. Who should I sh show my poem to first? Well, obviously, since the one I'm after is Monica, I'm gonna choose Monica. 
I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, Comey. Having a good time so far? Oh, uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any, any suggestions for the, for the club, like new activities or things we can do better. Okay, honestly, I can't do her voice. It's hard. I'll just do, I'll just do um, whatever her name's voice is. Voice. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better at, uh, off just going with the flow until more, I'm more so in. Anyway, I want to want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Colby. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's sort of a barrier that we'll have to pa- get past soon. I'll have it by tongue. <laughs> oh, freak. Yeah, that's true. All right, yeah, that's true. I had my mo- oh, harmonic come my poem. Hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something like Sayori. Something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good. Um, I think I might have chosen Sayori with that poem. Uh oh. I wouldn't be surprised if we had those sort of feeling things in common. Oh uh, well. We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually pretty different. Hmm? Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. Sounds like the two of you really care for, about each other as well. Each other's well being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I. Oh, a frick, I forgot to do her voice. So I think that it's kind of a vibe I, I get when reading your poem. Hmm. Sure, you're not reading it into it too much. <laughs> it could be. Oh gosh, it's not, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sari's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes it, like exploring with emotions and with like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, you know, that's totally unexpected. Well, well, to each own, their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. I could take a while before I feel uncomfortable doing this. That's okay. Well, that's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the, the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what, what suits you the most. So don't fool yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. I you sound pretty confident for someone who claims not very, don't be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction that sparkle pr- protrudes? A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I never know. Who wasn't home? I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I read well, I'm, this is my, I'm reading the poem, so look at my voice. No, I can't see. I'm real. I reel. Blind. Like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Judging forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. 
I realized how now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he, on the other side, I was looking in. So what do you think? Hmm, that's very right, a free form. If that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style... Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. Oh, frick. Anyways. That is a lot... That, that is a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When before and out loud, it can be really powerful. Was that the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I have some kind of... Oh, frick. I guess you could say that I have, I have some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Epiphany. Yeah, so something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that. Because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone has been a friend to each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or story, your brain is to fix it on a specific point. If you're trying to do it so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Anyway, you have to think about it. Think about it is this. You keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, guys, I'll end it here, because that was a long time. Holy damn, that was long. So anyways, guys, if you please, if you this video, please leave a like, subscribe to this channel for more content from this guy right here, and I'll see you all in the next video. Johnny. <laughs>